What's up guys, welcome to the third day of the vlog from EPT Paris. Yesterday obviously didn't go so well, but I had a few glasses of wine with Sam Grafton yesterday and he liked the bluff, so I feel good about it. Now it's gonna be time for my re-entry. It's my last bullet though, day 1B, let's go. How goes it? Hi, hey, you hey. good? Hey, I'm doing it. Yeah. Jägar Sverige. Yeah, no, Jägar Svenska. <laughs> Kung Kung Knäck. The 300. Lex Welthaus. Tell yeah. me, how do you say it? Welthaus. Welthaus. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah. How old were you when you played poker first time? Uh, 19, I think. A friend of mine said, I found a video game that you can make money with. So I, I looked at it as a, as a, as a video game. So like it's like an online strategy game. You can tell they have like a, a, a really big interest in the streaming world, esports world. So to me, it was almost as if like my two favorite things in the world came together. Cool. It's great. Awesome. Always like nice it? to chat. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Always nice. Always feels very natural. Yeah, we yeah. always had that, you know. Yeah. And, and, and I would say maybe you feel that to me, but I feel that to you too. Thanks so much, guys. Thank nice you. See you. Come on. See you. You're going to play another Second bullet. bullet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good luck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Second chance. They won't be. They were laughing at me for my bluff yesterday. They were like, I heard you busted in 15 minutes. What a noob. I'm not even kidding. Like, there were like four people laughing at me. The fuck, man? Yes, over here, right? Okay. Yeah. Further. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's good. Don't have to go on a quest to find my table. It's right here. We've got 15 minutes. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm just going to eat something backstage. Yeah, show me where this is yeah, backstage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have your uh, pass? Yes. Happy ace. It's okay. Merci. She's just like, merci. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we can get. Um, so this is a meter room. You can always see if you can find something here. This is Spraggy's life. Just asking people that did responsible shopping for their drinks. He's the cheapest man. Cheapest man in Central Europe. Wow. Look at you. What a man. Got it. No, it's fine. I'm not like this one. I don't come in and get people's lunch and stuff. You know, it's fine. <laughs> He's awful. Thank you, Danny. Is it vanilla? It's zero zero. It's no sugar, no caffeine. Oh Jesus! I That's didn't, a, didn't want to say anything, but I That's know. awful. <laughs> Is it? Danny, if you watch this, <laughs> I'm sorry. But. Listen, I I'm Jax. Uh, one one two. I make it 500 under the gun. Um, mid position flats. Mid position flats. Uh, you yeah, you can walk by. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. No, no one yeah. watches this shit anyway. That's why. That's why it's so nice that Spraggy sits there. You know, he's like a content wizard. He just sits over there. It's like, you see, you see. If I sit here, it's even worse. This is now I'm being directed. The, for the, no, no, but this this is how normal people sit down no, together yeah, at a table. Know, that's like two chairs. You sit on the other one. Hello. This is supposed to be candid. It's supposed to be... <laughs> if you sit down with your it's with Marley to be real. Now it's like Milan Mike, breakfast. Now it's like Michael Parkinson. It's like, so, how are you doing on the break, my friend? Now when you go for dinner with Marley, do you sit over there? <laughs> I'm never spending break with you again. <laughs> this is so much asshole. So relax. You've got Jax, you make it 500. 500, call, uh, guy in a cutoff makes it 2K. Fold, fold, flat, right? Oh. Yeah, uh, flat, flat. Um, flop is uh, 1093, two spades. Uh, check, check, three better checks. Turns a queen. Check. I let small. Because I figured like, I figured that uh, I'm gonna fold out some equity from three better. Um, I think that like, I let 25%. Because in my head is like, I can still get value from ace 10, king 10, jack 10, jack nine suited. I feel like all those are just like way Spades. bigger favorites to bet flop. They just can have a lot of like- Yeah, but also the, the guy behind me, right? The flatter behind yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that flatter also has like king jack, so king queen, queen jack, queen ten. Yeah, but then if I'm, so. Ace queen. But then if I check, I also want one added advantage to betting 25%, I feel, is like I open my range up to some three bets. And uh, if I check and somebody bets, it's always going to be bigger than 1500. And I don't really want to start folding jacks immediately with the flush draw there, etc. Right? I block king jack also. Yeah, sure. But the, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, what? Can't be that bad. Yeah. If it's bad at all, it might be good. Yeah. I would probably just check in game though. 
So you bet 25%? Yeah, they're both called. And, they're both and, called. and then the river was the ten of spades. So it fills the floors. And check fold. Yeah, I just check fold. The guy, the guy behind me bet pot, which is a interesting bet size. But no show name? No show name. So the, the original caller bet pot? Like the guy who call called? Just has... You know, has a it. Whatever, it's like spades or... Almost impossible to have a bluff. Yeah, pocket pen. Yeah, all right. I don't know. I'll probably just check that. Also, like, you, you're just talking about like how you might want to play when you have the nuts as well. Like, you probably want to do some check raise on this card just because it's so good for the bet. It's not like, and it, it's, it, again, the hand is so good for the imposition check back of having like ace queen, king queen, queen jack, whatever. And your original core caller is going to have some queen x2, right? It's like, if you do have the nuts, they're not going to raise these king queen, queen jack, ace queen, but mm -hmm. you can check raise. But like your twenty five percent, if you have a twenty five percent strategy on the table, yeah. it's not like you're going to get to bet three, bet the nuts. Yeah, yeah. So like, if you have a queen ten or a pocket nines or a king jack yourself, you probably want to go for a check raise too. Um, you know? Especially because the guy behind like, me is going to bet a lot. If you just if you just construct this like weird twenty five percent leading range, then you screw screw yourself every time yeah, you have yeah. the nuts because they're just going to play calls. Okay. Right? They're not going to play raises, and then you, you don't get that bet three bet. Okay. Whereas if you if you play checks, you get check raise on turn, and then you can like, especially at that depth. <laughs> Because, you know, if you have sets, two pairs straights, you're going to want to check raise. I like that. Your hand specifically, jacks, feels like fine to play 25%. But if you look at every hand you want to play, it's probably like just jacks that wants to be 25. Yeah. Or maybe like queen jack. Jack 10. Yeah. Or yeah. Or maybe like jack 10. Hand, yeah. The hand was similar. Yeah, just some like middling thing. But it's like, why would you yeah. Why would you play a check and then a B25? You know? I'm going to try and get those chips back after break. <laughs> That's a good plan. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Good luck. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Subscribe. Always good to talk with friends on a break. It's nice to go over the hand like that. Sometimes you zoom in on one part and then somebody will just tell you, hey, what about this? And you're like, oh. So we're in the 200, 400 level and I have about 30,000. The table's all right, but most people are playing solid. I have jack eight of hearts under the gun. I decide to raise to 900. It falls around to the big blinds and he calls. He covers me by a little bit. The flop comes ace of diamonds, nine of hearts, six of hearts. I have a flush draw, I have some backdoor straight draws, and this is just generally a good situation for me. Because I'm gonna have the strongest aces and I'm up against a big blind range, I can put a lot of pressure here. Sometimes it can be very good to bet big on flops versus the big blinds because they will not have the strongest hands and the range is very wide. It's also a great way to deny equity. I bet 1800 into 2400. They call. The turn is the queen of diamonds. Now there's two flush draws on board. The queen is going to be a good card for me, as we talk about in other hands, any Broadway card is generally going to be good for the preflop aggressor. The big blind checks. This time I decide to overbet. I can put a lot of pressure on a 9 or a 6, and he's even going to have to fold some weaker aces at this point. I bet 7800 into 6000. I can do this with backdoor diamond draws, flush draws, and of course all my two pairs sets, but even ace jack or ace king can bet this large. He calls. Now we're really going to have to hit the river to win the hand. If the river misses, this is not a hand I want to turn into a bluff. I block too many of his folds, meaning if the river breaks, I really want him to be able to have a flush draw. The jack of hearts and the eight of hearts in my hand make that a little bit rougher. The river is the ace of spades, one of the worst cards anyway. It's going to be very hard to get them to fold an ace. On top of that, I don't have the best bluffing hand like I said, so I decide to check it back. He has ace eight of clubs and I lose the trip aces. I really like my turn bet. I think his hand is going to have to fold sometimes on a turn, but nice hand, sir, and we have to move on. All right, so my stack's getting a little bit shorter now. I have 13 and a half thousand, which is approximately 25 big blinds. I look down at ace-queen suited though. Great hand to open, great hand to play at this point. I make it 1100 and 200, 500 with a 500 NT. The hijack is a good player and calls. The flop is queen 10 four with two hearts. This is a flop I'm going to have to check a lot out of position. The hijack's gonna play hands that hit this board a lot, therefore my misses have to check, so I also wanna check some good hands. My stack is also perfect to check raise some of my stronger hands. He checks behind though. This is not necessarily bad. Even though the board is draw heavy, I think some of his best draws are gonna bet, and he's definitely not checking a hand like a set of tens or a set of fours. The turn is beautiful, five of spades. Now I really wanna get value. I can definitely size up a bit and get some money in the pot. All of my misses can now start firing and put my opponent under pressure. Also, this will leave me a very nice bet on the river. I bet 3400 into a pot of 3400. He thinks for a little bit and he calls. The river is the eight of hearts. Obviously, my opponent is going to have some flushes, but against my stack size, I think he's going to bet most of them on the flop. And I don't think that he has any jack nine either. 
pocket eight shouldn't be in there, so the eight's a reasonable card. I go all in for pot, 10,000. He instantly calls and he has king queen. Great double up, hand works out perfect, and we're back in the mix. Lex, Yo. Yo, Alex? Yeah. Um, sucks, so obviously I had a really nice hand with the ace queen. Um, and then uh, aggressive big stack opens to 1,000 in 200, 500. He gets re raised uh, to 3,000. And then a guy on the button who seems very capable uh, makes it so capable means that you know I think he's capable of also bluffing. Makes it 8,000 on the button. I've uh, kings, um, oh, sorry, ace king, uh, offset in the big blind. And uh, I have 29,000, so now I have to decide is there ever a bluff in the buttons range? If the answer is yes, there's going to be sometimes ace jack suited, ace 10 suited, or king queen suited, then the answer is all in here. So much debt money as well, there's about 5k debt money in there. Um, and I go all in, and then it's just one of those spots, you just have to hope that it works out. And the first two guys fold, and he has queens, and the board runs out blank. And I'm out. It's a little bit too bad. I would have had 100 big blinds, more than that. I would have had 100 and 20, whatever. 140, actually. So it's just one of those spots where you just have to get it in. I did. If the button is like somebody that I don't think is pretty good, then I'm just going to fold here because then it's just going to be too much aces and kings. But it's just going to be, uh, there's going to be jacks, jacks, queens, and some bluffs in there, some chops, so whatever just sucks but not much you can do so it feels a bit powerless but at the same time I can't you know yeah what are you gonna do just too bad uh, need to win these hands poker's just not really working out in this sense like these spots just don't really seem to be working out so yeah that's it for the main event uh, tomorrow's 3k mystery bounty so gonna play that it will be fun it'll also be fun to play a bounty tournament actually thinking about it I'm already getting excited so uh, I think I'm just gonna take an early night maybe work out get some sleep in rock again tomorrow yeah, you see, that's how quick it goes. I'm over it, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, we'll see. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching.